got involved in the end of the long touchdowns um, last week, but as a, as a unit, how much does that hurt you to have that not happen just once, but three times? Um, you know, I don't, I don't think it hurts us. Um, you know, as part of football, things like that are going to happen, and when we play aggressive as we do, uh, those things are going to happen. Just eliminating, uh, you know them getting those touchdowns. But like I said, it doesn't hurt us. It's just, um, you know, they, they got the upper hand and we, we still, at the end of the day, we still won the game. That's, that's what matters. Um, no matter what happened, whether they caught those or not, we won the game and, and that's what matters to us is, you know, we'll, we'll fix those. Those things like easily correctable. Nothing that we're worried about. Um, it's just something that, you know, they they got us there. And that's, that's part of football. They're gonna get us sometimes, but we won the game, that's what matters. How do you feel about your role? Um, I'm I'm excited about my role. I, I love you know what I do for the team, and um, it's just you know a way for me to help uh, help the team win the game. Um, I have a lot of fun at nickel, and uh, it's something that I feel like I strive and I I do really well. Um, and that's the best way for me to help the team. And you know I, I'll continue to do that. And you know like I said, wherever they want me to play, I'm willing to play. It doesn't matter to me. I, I just want to help the team any way I can, and you know. Nichols, I feel like, is the best way for me to do that. So I'm, I'm really happy and I'm really excited for it. Armani, it seems pretty simple to say you're going to be an aggressive defense, you're going to press cover, you're going to challenge every throw and stuff. But you know, I keep thinking about you in, in the Orange Bowl. You were right on top of some of those plays. Some of them you made, some of them you didn't and stuff. But before you go through it, I mean, how tough of a transition is it for for players to get used to playing that style and um, it's, the mistakes that can come from it? I know? mean, Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely a transition, you know, when you play one way uh, one year and then you go to press coverage uh, the next year. It's obviously a transition, but, you know, we've been doing it since spring ball and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we don't feel as it's a transition anymore. We're, we're into it. It's just uh, tweaking little techniques that we uh, have to work on. And um, I don't think it's anything has to do with, uh, you know, us not being able to do it. It's just, you know, uh, eye control, um, you know, knowing your leverage and things like that. Just little things that that's just part of football and having to understand. And, and you know, that's that's you know, even NFL players have to go through that. It's just mm -hmm. something that uh, we as a unit, uh, safeties and corners, we're we're gonna get through it. And I mean, I rather I rather this happen early in the season than happen later in the season. And I know it won't happen again because the way we act and the way we. Uh, uh, perform and prepare ourselves. You know, that's something that we're, gonna, we're going to eliminate, and that's yeah. not going to be something we worry about anymore. So. As a DB, would you rather play this aggressive style this, as a nickel corner, where you're up in the receiver's face? Oh yeah, it, it makes it easier for um, you know the D line to get to the quarterback because they, uh, the quarterback doesn't have enough time to you know read everything because we're off. He just throw a quick out or something like that. But when we're really aggressive and you know, having the wide receivers take time to get off the ball, it really helps the D line get to the quarterback a lot faster, and, and that's what we want. It's 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 a whole collective thing. Um, D line, we press coverage, so the D line gets to the ball faster. We can uh, blitz more. We can do all these different different things because we're able to play press corners, and and it all just comes together. And that's that's how that's how we like it. That's how we want it to be. Do you, do you always have to have the thought in your mind though, even though you're up and you're playing hard, mm -hmm. you, you, especially if y'all sold out. No matter what, I can't let this guy get behind me. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, how do you, I mean, how, do you how do you balance those? If two? you if you if you play if you play scared that you're gonna get beat deep, then you know that's you can't ever play scared at corner. That's the one yeah. thing you can't do because if once you play scared, then you second guess yourself, and that's when you get beat. And um, you know you gotta have the confidence, and we, and we do. We have the confidence that every down that our guy is not gonna catch the ball, no matter we're pressed off, doesn't matter. Our our guy's not gonna catch the ball, and uh, we're not, we're not worried we're not worried about getting beat deep. I mean. It's football. I mean, it's what we've been doing since we were in fifth grade. So, and even younger. So, um, I'm, we're not worried about that. It's just, you know, they 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 caught a ball on us. So what? We still got a long season. We got a lot of games to play and a lot of downs to play. So, I, we're not even worried about it. It's, it's it's over with, and you know, just on to the next one. Can good receivers sense that fear? Can they sense if a guy is is fearful of, of playing in press coverage? I I mean, yeah, I, I think so. Just like a, a, a corner can fear, uh, can see fear in a wide receiver's eye when we're pressing them. So, I'm sure they can, but um, I don't feel like any of us we have we show that fear um, in us. We're confident in what we do and how we can play, and um, we we don't. I don't see any type of fear in us uh, playing press coverage. We can do it. Any we can do it with anybody in the country, and um, I'm not I'm not I'm not afraid to say that. And I'm 
you know, I'm really confident in anything that we can do. How does Diggs stack up to the receivers that you guys just faced this Cincinnati? Um, he's, he's, a, he's a great player. Um, um, I remember him in high school, going against him in high school and uh, a lot of camp stuff. He's a, he's a great guy, great player. And um, he, he's 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 going to be a, a workload for us, but you know that's that's why we came to Ohio State to play guys like that. And you know when, when you line up against them, you just bring your A game because that's what he's going to do. And you know it's not even just him; it's just the whole wide receiving core. We just got a matter of it's him or you know another guy. We got to bring our A game because this is D1 football and this is big time football. What, yeah. what sets a guy like Diggs apart, though? Is it that first move he makes after the catch? What is it that sets um, that makes him? He, he's very different? he's very versatile. He's quick, but he's very strong and very aggressive. He, um, he mm -hmm. has a lot of different tools that um, at his size that you know a lot of a lot of guys, and especially in college, they only have either the speed or they just have the strength. But he yeah. he's a gifted athlete. and He has both and. Um, that's what makes him special. But you know, we're, at the end of the day, it's, it's we're, we're not worried. I mean, we're gonna do what we have to do. We're gonna play our defense. We're gonna do our thing. We're gonna do our schemes, and um, he's gonna do whatever he has to do for his team. And we're gonna do whatever we have to do for our team. And at the end of the day, um, we we want to come victorious just like he does. And we're gonna work very hard um, and prepare against him and any, all the other wide receivers they have on the squad. The adjustments that you have to make. How tough are they to make during the season when when you're game planning and trying um, to make sure that you're not too fatigued and all the other things you have to worry about in season? Um, I don't I don't think it's uh, it's hard to uh, adjust. Um, our, our our what we do is um, it's, it's simple and it's not it's not anything that's too complex for us and so it's easy for us to adjust to little things and and that's what that's what's great about our defense. We're able to still play aggressive and, and still make adjustments off of little things and so. Um, I don't. Th I don't think it's a big deal for us, um, and it hasn't shown to be a big deal in these last couple of games, going from Navy to a spread offense or anything like that. So, I don't think it's a big deal for us at all. Armani, I say Joey Bosa, uh, and what's the very first thing that came to your mind when I said Joey Bosa? That hit. <laughs> yeah. He's a he's a he's a he's a freak. He he does things that you know some DNs you just be like wow. Like and he's a he's a great player, and when you just see him do those hits like that, it's just like. You know, you're just seeing like I, I look at his greatness. You're just watching greatness. That's mm -hmm. that's how like he's a, he's a great player, and um, I'm just happy he's on our side. So. Is, what is he like behind the scenes, though? Is he? I mean, is he? He seems kind of a quiet guy to us. Yeah, yet. I mean, yeah, he's quiet. He's funny, um, and he loves he loves music. Yeah. And, uh, he loves he loves video games too. So he he's just he's just any normal kid. He's just he just happens to be a really good football player too. So, um, you know, he's not he's he's not anything else other than just a, a regular kid. Ronnie, what did you think of Schlegel's tackle? <laughs> I wouldn't want to get hit by him. That's all. I mean, what I didn't even know what was happening. The kid came on the field, and I didn't know who tackled. I just I thought it was some bodyguard, and then I didn't find out till after the game that it was Coach Schlegel. But I mean, there's a reason why he played football, I guess. <laughs> so um, I saw it on uh, Twitter. I saw the video, and I was like, ooh. I don't know how that kid actually got up, but he actually got forced up. But I mean, it was it was a good hit, good form, good tackle. Armani, thank you, buddy. Yep, thank you. <laughs>